Hi, Steve here. The staggering reality that's affecting almost every single one of us will not be getting any better as long as the globalists have their way. Forever chemicals, also known as PFAS, have become a daily part of our regular lives, and it's time we take a closer look at the devastating impact they're having on our bodies and on our Earth. Across the United States, farmers are raising alarms about their land being poisoned by forever chemicals, toxic substances that linger indefinitely in the environment and our bodies. The crisis is so pervasive that these chemicals are now found in 97% of human blood. Think about that for a minute. Almost everybody has this in their blood. Farmers are discarding milk tainted with these chemicals, which have been linked to cancer and other severe health problems, and in some cases, are even euthanizing their cows to prevent further contamination. For some families, this threatens over a century of legacy, with roots dating back to 1914, putting the future of farming in jeopardy. Sounding the alarm on News Nation over forever chemicals. Multiple farmers now coming forward tonight saying their land is being poisoned. We're investigating how nearly 20 million U.S. cropland acres were contaminated. The spread on farmland and in our lives so pervasive. This chemical is now in 97 percent of our blood. In the warm barn. Ah, Samata Piccolilli. They wait to be milked. Yes, I see you, BB-8. With names like Moonbeam, Blue, and Storm Chaser, he knows them by heart. There's no phoniness about them. You know exactly where you stand. And they're all different. I mean, their personalities are all completely different. Yes, I see you. Every day he takes care of them. Come on, honey, you're almost there. And in exchange, <sighs> this. What he calls liquid gold. His family has been here since 1914, and for more than a century, the high-quality milk and cream has gone to market. <sighs> now every drop goes down the drain. I told a lot of people that you either laugh or cry, and I ran out of tears a long time ago. Fred Stone's milk is contaminated, heavily tainted with chemicals linked with cancer. I can't, there's nothing left. At some point in time, hopefully not tomorrow, uh, I'm going to have to tell my father and my grandfather what happened to the dairy farm that they entrusted me with. And that's the part that keeps him at night. No farming, no food. From contaminated drinking water to food packaging, and from clothing to firefighting foam, forever chemicals are everywhere. Research has shown that exposure to forever chemicals can lead to a multitude of health problems, including cancer, reproductive issues, and weakened immune systems. Their ability to accumulate in the bloodstream, these chemicals pose a significant threat to our health. What's more, the longer they persist in the environment, the more they accumulate in our bodies, making it a ticking time bomb waiting to unleash its devastating effects. The more we learn about these chemicals, the scarier it gets. Studies have found that even small exposure to forever chemicals can alter the way our genes function, leading to a range of health concerns that can pass down to future generations. It's not just our health that's at risk. The environmental impact of these chemicals is equally worrying. From contaminating our waterways to decimating wildlife populations, the effects of forever chemicals are far-reaching and devastating. So where are these chemicals coming from? And how are they entering our bloodstream? The sources are numerous, from the clothes we wear to the food we eat. Even something as mundane as a microwave popcorn packaging has been found to contain high levels of forever chemicals. And once they enter our environment, they persist, accumulating in our bodies over time. The environment plays a crucial role in the distribution of these chemicals. Rainwater and contaminated soil are just two of the many ways forever chemicals make their way into our food chain. And once they're in our bodies, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. The impact on individual health is one thing, but the collective effect on the environment is catastrophic. 
not to mention mankind. But there's more. A recent study in a small town in the United States found that the local drinking water supply was contaminated with extremely high levels of forever chemicals. The effects on the local population were nothing short of devastating. Residents reported several health problems from cancer to thyroid disease. Another study found that firefighters who used foam containing forever chemicals to put out fires were at significantly higher risk of developing testicular cancer. These findings are just the tip of the iceberg, and they're a stark reminder of the devastating effects of forever chemicals on human health. Do you really believe it's a coincidence that there's a total lack of regulation and oversight? Despite the overwhelming evidence of their harm, Forever Chemicals continue to be used in a wide range of products. From non-stick cookware to food wrappers, it's a ticking time bomb, and it's only a matter of time before the full extent of their impact becomes clear. How many people have to die? The dangers of Forever Chemicals can't be overstated. From widespread contamination of human blood to the devastating impact on the environment, it's time we take action to reduce our exposure to these pollutants. We know we're being poisoned from the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and these chemicals are being sprayed all over the earth. Never before in the history of mankind have we ever seen this kind of deliberate destruction against humanity. This must be why God said, the nations were angry, but your wrath has come. The time has come for the dead to be judged and to give the reward to your servants, the prophets, to the saints, and to those who fear your name, both small and great. And the time has come to destroy those who destroy the earth. That time is coming. Think about it.